First off, I'd like to thank the Mullings family and the Friedberg family for all of the hard work they did in organizing this great wedding. Let's get a round of applause for them and the wedding planners. So, uh, Taylor and I have been best friends since elementary school. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we have a pretty wild wedding party. Uh, the group of guys uh, in, the, in the wedding party, we've all been best friends for a a long time, and there's something when at least three of us get together, I'm 28 now and we're all getting in our upper 20s, we, if at least three people in our group get together, we instantly become 16 year olds. <laughs> there's not five seconds that goes by where one guy's not in a, a headlock. I think my butt's been grabbed about 10 times today, mostly I think by Dylan and Jeff. They're butt grabbers, so. Um, Taylor is such a genuine, genuinely nice guy, one of the nicest guys I know, and I think all of us in our wedding party again would agree he's probably got his life together more than all of us, maybe combined. Um, so, and JC, what a great girl you are. Round of applause for the beautiful bride. Gorgeous. You are the perfect person for Taylor, and we're so glad you guys found each other and you guys are gonna make a wonderful family. So, cheers to the night, Taylor and JC. So when JC and Taylor first started dating, I lived in Birmingham, Alabama. So JC would talk to me on the phone about this guy who she was dating, the things she liked about him, the things she was really unsure about him. Um, but then one Halloween, I was gonna be in town. JC found out and immediately invited me to hang out with the two of them. She told me about how she really wanted them to be Sandy and Danny from the end of Greece. But Taylor was unsure about the whole costume thing, which to this day doesn't make a lot of sense to me because let's be honest, that costume is a black t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> so we go, we hang out for a little bit and Taylor is, JC is of course in full Sandy, ready for the party as she always is. And Taylor is, when we arrive, in no costume at all. And JC introduces the two of us, we start talking, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, why is JC dating this party pooper? <laughs> um, so we go up, we hang out for a little bit before we head out to where we're going, and Taylor just like vanishes for a while. And people are like, where's Taylor? And people are like, don't worry about it. And then all of a sudden, he reemerges from his bedroom in full Danny Zuko. <laughs> JC was, of course, thrilled. And Taylor laughed because he knew he had surprised her. And from then on, that's just kind of how it was. Taylor was always coming through for JC. And I think that's really what love is, that sometimes you have to do things that might be out of your comfort zone so that you can make the day of the person you love. And I know JC and Taylor will do that for the rest of their lives. To the bride and groom. I, I do first want to welcome everyone. And, and uh, on by behalf of Sherry and myself and, and, and also Taylor's parents, uh, Greg and Lisa, we want to welcome you all and family and friends. And thank you for coming to celebrate Taylor and JC's big day. Uh, we really appreciate you all taking your time. and some of you coming from so far to, to come and help us celebrate, so thank you very much. I also want to thank everybody that's helped with the wedding and, and the reception and the, the dinner last night was just over the top, and thank you so much for that. Uh, you know, while event planning is JC's uh, profession, I, it's to, you know, and boy, did she totally knock this one out of the park or what? <laughs> But I, I do know it, it took uh, many others working together as a team to, to really pull this off. And, and so thank you and, and, and Melanie and Julie for taking the, that last month of, uh, off, off of her back. <laughs> I really appreciate that. So uh, as you can probably see, I, I, I do get a little emotional here. And, and so bear with me. Uh, we're going to, you know, kind of lay it all out there, and, and I'm going to set some expectations that are really low, so, you know, 
because this, this could get real ugly, but anyway. <laughs> I mean, we, we went through, uh, you know, hours of waiting for JC to, to be born, and, and uh, when it was all over, uh, you know, finally everybody, JC was fine, and Sherry was fine, and, you know, I, I, <laughs> I literally collapsed, and, and I, I cried. <laughs> And it was, uh, you know, just amazing uh, time at that, at that point. But recently I cried when I saw the Mullings Christmas card. And the beautiful family picture with JC in it. <laughs> so that was a bit hard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I'll... I'm, I fully expect to be crying when I see the final bill for this event, too. So. <laughs> but all, all of this is really out of joy, and, it, and, and the feeling of being so proud of my, of my kids, and, and, you know, so that's, that's all great. And, you know, as parents, uh, we, we all try to do the right things, and, and, and there's no one way of doing that. Uh, however, what Sherry and myself recognize and what we can be proud of is, is the environment that we raise our kids in. And, and that environment is, is full of all our family and our friends and all the great positive influences that you all have given. And so we really appreciate that. And you, you know, this continues this very night with you all being here to surround us with your love and your caring and support, especially right now. And, and we love you dearly. And thank you all for being part of this special day. So, JC, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I, I do want you to know how proud I am of you, and you are very beautiful. You're confident, you're competent, you're kind and you're caring, and you make good choices in life, and, and <laughs> most of them. And we've heard a lot of wor great words from all the family and friends, and you know, all, that, that all basically you know, confirms these beliefs. But. I, I can say that, JC, I have seen better life better through your eyes. So, thank you for that. Taylor's parents, uh, Greg and Lisa, thank you for raising such a fine man in Taylor. And encouraging him to share his life with JC. So, and, and our daughter, so. And, and Taylor, a while before he surprised JC with the uh, uh, marriage proposal, he, he came to us and, and asked for our blessing and, and, you know, for her hand <laughs> in marriage. And that, boy, that was a, that was a, quite a, an experience there. I, <laughs> I can say I'm glad I only have one daughter. <laughs> but, uh, of course, I challenged him a, a little bit with some, you know, tough questions and pointed, you know, questions and stuff, and I even, you know, warned him a few things about JC. <clears throat> but but he, stood, he stood very strong. And, uh, and, and really, there, there was no way uh, we would even think of standing in the way of such a good idea. He even insisted on paying the dinner bill that night, and that was even another uh, uh, nice little surprise. <laughs> so welcome to the family, Taylor, and, and know that our support is there now for you as it's always been for JC. Really appreciate that. It is such a feeling of pride to see J.C. and Taylor glowing like they are today. As hard as this has been, uh, 
Sherry and me, Sherry and me are left with a great feeling of uh, knowing that you glow together now. You have each other, and you, you're both in good hands. Life will not be perfect, both of you, but both of you are the type of people that are persistent and with consistent caring and, and you know, caring for each other, you, you will persevere, even when times get tough. So the only thing I would want different is to reel back in time and enjoy this great journey again. But since I can't reel back that time and enjoy all those wonderful times, I, I, I can say we, we will look forward to, uh, you know, someday you all bringing us some little ones and, <laughs> and we get to enjoy this all over again. <laughs> someday. And then, of course... Uh, knowing that we get to send them home when we need a good night's rest. <laughs> so some of you have daughters and, and, and have been here before, and, and some are yet to be in that situation and know how it feels to give your daughter's hand to another man, <laughs> basically. Uh, and I can tell you uh, that for me, this has been one of the happiest days of my life. Because I, I have seen my little girl grow up, and she's become the person she is today, and she made a great choice for her life partner. And I really do hope that uh, you can all have this same feeling of enormous satisfaction that I have where I know my little girl chose someone that makes me feel this way. So, uh-oh, my drink went away. Let's all have cheers to Taylor and JC. The deepest love forever. Cheers. Cheers.